Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back. As you can see, Lady Sybil is all tamed up. Now we got Lady Sybil and Mr. Vimes, and Vimes is a little on the noisy side. Come on, Vimes, did you have to growl while I was trying to do my intro? Anyways, welcome back. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate all uh, you who are watching uh, or following my videos here. As you can see, I got a little bit of work done while uh, you were gone. I did quite a lot of resource gathering using uh, Lady Sybil and Blondie. Um, had to make quite a few more runs with Blondie than with Lady Sybil, partially because uh, Lady Sybil is so high level and, and good at uh, gathering wood, but I suspect mostly because we're, we're you know, using stone. So anyways, I was going over... Uh, our design plans. I see I moved the boat out there where the dock is going to be, and I built some new uh, crafting stations to go in here and place them against this wall temporarily. But while I was uh, doing that and testing things out, I realized that, well, one, my, my layout was I was originally planning it. I was planning it um, based on the layout in my multiplayer place, which is different. And I said I really didn't like it exactly. Uh, more, more or less I like it. But there are a couple things going to change. One, I'm not going to worry about the glass windows, uh, and they may not go here anyways, but I'm not going to worry about them right now. Uh, I, I, I think I will worry about that after we've got the house built. So we will hold off on that for a little while. But uh, the main thing is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take these out. I didn't like where this was placed and where it ended up forcing me to place the uh, the workshop. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? A little wild, uh, a little wild Leistrosaur. Um, also, I realized it was going to be very much of a, a cube, a big cube, and I didn't like that. So, we're going to do things a little bit different than we had originally planned. First off, I'm going to move this over here. Oops, that's not what I want. There. There. Come on. There. Okay, do those place okay? Yeah, they look good. So, we're going to place this here. So, our entrance is going to be right here. And I am going to take this guy out right here. Uh, not necessary. Uh, I just decided I wanted a little, a little to break up the cube. I mean, that's what it comes down to. I wanted to break up the cube, so we're going to have very definite entrance here, and then I'm going to extend this one further right here, and we're going to stick our stairwell back here in this little notch, and you know, hopefully that will break up the the cubiness of this place and make it look a little bit more pleasing to the eye, a little more aesthetically pleasing. Also, part of why I wanted to move this over here, uh, although a much more minor factor was placing it over here, I do hope eventually to expand this section. Uh, probably uh, what I'm going to do uh, is the expansion for the workshop is going to be on the other side here, but also more, more dino parking area. As you can see, I've got these three guys in here. Well, let's give him a pet. I don't know if you've seen that before. See, they get pretty cute when you pet them. But uh, you can see the little arrows above Blondie and Chip's heads. That means they're getting an experience point bonus. And everybody else is out of range, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So I think I've got enough stuff gathered up for us to be able to... I don't know if I can carry all of this. We'll find out, I suppose. Uh, where's the regular walls? There they are. I think I've got enough stuff. Uh, no, I definitely can't carry all of it. <laughs> Let's take half. Uh, enough stuff here for us to uh, at least complete the shell of our house. So let's get going here. I might be able to speed through this. I don't know if I can. I mean, uh, let's go ahead and put windows up here. And when I say speed through this, I mean I might be able to uh, do the montage thing while we're building. Okay, that's all of that. I hope we're going to have enough stuff. I know I don't have enough pre-built. 
So, I mean, it could very well be that I'm going to have to build some more. That's not an issue. Okay, that is going to come to here. But, uh, yeah, I think that's right. Hope that's right. Well, I suppose we can always take them down if it's not. The whole one thing I want to do is make some thatch thatch walls or thatch door frames, one of the two. Um, one thing is important with Structures Plus is get your walls in first. Because I, I think uh, I pointed out when we were doing the boat, let's open this up here, when we were doing the boat, there's two snap points when you have the ceilings on. One is the snap point to the wall below and the other is the snap point to the ceiling itself. And I don't want uneven walls. So what I want to do is to get temporary walls in underneath here for walls that I'm going to have up above um, that are only going to be like on the roof so that uh, when I do those um, um, when I do those walls above they're all even with the walls on the outside and everything. So I need to put those walls all in before I put any sort of Floor, uh, upper floors or ceilings or anything like that in. So let's get this guy in here and this guy in here. Uh, let's see. I think well, let's use a solid wall here and then a window wall here and then a solid wall here. Uh, how do we have this on the side? Does it matter? Let's do window walls. Let's just make it very light. Now, so this is going to be our workshop area. As you can see from my original plan, the workshop was going to be further back. This puts the workshop right here where the dinos are going through, and it's going to be a lot easier to unload them. I was originally thinking, well, you know, for the other dinos, you know, some of the stuff I can probably come around on the outside. Well, no, I can't because the we're too low. When I've done stuff like that in the past, I've had... Um, yeah, I've had uh, like a courtyard made from foundations so that we were at the right level for that. So I can't do that here, so we're not going to do that here. And let's see here. We've got that all the way up. I want a door. Let's get a door and a door frame. We'll just go ahead and place this, I hope. There we go. Go. And then we will put some solid walls on top here. And we are out of solid walls. Okay, so I'm going to need five more solid walls. That yeah, seems about right. At least for this spot. Oh, yes, and there was something else I was going to tell you. So, this is going to be our workshop over here. This is going to be the stair, the stairwell right here. It's going to go all the way up. I was going to have the stairwell sort of split. It's going to be like stairs here going up to the second floor, and then stairs back here going up to the third floor. But instead, I'm going to put them all in one spot, one, one central stairwell. So this right here is sort of going to be a hallway, you know, from front to back. So you come in here, and if you want, you can go straight back here. And this area will be our workshop. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use stone railings. I'm going to put stone railings right here and stone railings right here to help define our workshop area without having to put up walls. And then we can place uh, workbenches right up against those stone railings. And it'll, it'll look a bit better. It'll also make it easier for us to line things up and make them look nice. But I think that will help um, You know, when we're unloading stuff because then we you know, can unload straight into the workbenches. So, let's see. Okay, solid walls. Let's get these up. Okay, and then we're going to go with windows. Let's see. Do I want... Let's... Yeah, this is going to be windows up here. 
think it's going to be windows all the way around. Do I want a window here? Or do I want solid walls? I think I want to put a window right here, just like we did here. I think we're going to do it the same way. So we'll do solid walls in the other places. And then it's going to be solid walls on the very top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need ten more solid walls then. Okay. I don't think we're going to need any more window walls for now. We are going to have more walls, but... Not yet. And then I'm going to have to do our thatch walls. Uh, 1,200 thatch. Good. I went and got some more thatch on Mr. Vimes. But I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough. There we go. And then go ahead and top this up. Well, that is the full height of our... for this. There. Lovely. Excuse me, uh, Blondie. Excuse me, you too. Now these guys, I'm actually going to park up on the roof. That's We're going to have stairwell going all the way up to the roof uh, just for that purpose. That looks a lot nicer. That is, that is much nicer. It's not so much of a cube. It's still going to look like a cube from the ocean side, but... Oh, I forgot I put a balcony up here, and uh, I'm not sure it's going to stay there now. We'll see. Um, as you can see, I had the door on the other side there, and that was that was where I was planning to put the balcony. Okay, so now I need to figure out... So this right here is going to be where that wall is. And I'm going to need to do the same thing right here. That's going to be interesting. So, let's see. I need one, two, three, four, five times four. I'm going to need 20 thatch. I'm going to try to use thatch door frames. Because um, that way we can walk through. How many did I say? 20? Maybe we may need to go out and get some more thatch after doing that. So we'll put in our temporary walls. And then once our temporary walls are in, we can work on getting the second floor in. Once the second floor is in, we can uh, get the stairwell up to the roof and start getting all of that in. And that's going to entail some more stone pieces. i close that for now. Actually, you know what? I need to go out there and get some food is what I need to do. So I'm not sure how well this boat is going to work. It might be a little too low for... I forgot that door is not on automatic anymore. Let's take these. Go ahead and make our make our narcotics. And there. That should fill us up. So we'll be good to go for a while. Sm walk smack into the door. That that felt good. <laughs> okay. Uh, huh. Okay, so we got this. We're going to need some more solid walls, though. Uh, well, let's get this in place first. And let's see. We want these on... This side, correct? Is that right? Yeah, that looks good. No, other way. Yeah, there we go. There. Okay. Now it should should be an easy matter to place them on top and keep going up. Uh, 
Okay, so those are all in place. Let's see. I think they need to come this way. Yeah. Through this way. Come on. Uh, uh. So there's going to be like. See, I hate it when it does that. We'll have to fix that when we can get up there. <clears throat> so that's going to be another wall segment we need there. So I'm going to need one, two, th three. Yeah, let's do three solid walls here. And we're going to need two ceilings for this next part. Okay. Okay. So the walls I want, I want to place walls right here. It's going to be where our stairwell is. And I just want to sort of enclose it to make it look nicer. It's not necessary, but there we go. Right there. When this is up, we can go ahead and place these in. that's going to be our landing. So we'll go up here to that and then up there. So we're going to need we're going to need some angled pieces there. Yeah. I don't know which ones we're going to need, so we'll take two of each. Okay, so we want one piece right here. One of the nice things about these structures plus is that uh, you can place the you can place these angled pieces uh, on the underside. Unfortunately, one of the bad things about the structures plus is that you can place those angled pe pieces on the underside. <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. So that'll let us place that, and then we're good. Now we've got some stairs in here. I'm going to take two of these. And we'll put our first one right here. No, oh, oh, right there. There, see, now here's our walk going up. And then we're going to need to place another ceiling before we can do that part. We're going to need a lot of ceilings now. So let's take that and that and put them away. And we'll take ten ceilings for now. Oh, and there's a... Well, that's not going to help us, though. Never mind. Uh, actually, let's start right here. So, let's go right here. And that will let us place our next stairway piece. So, whoop. Right there. So there we go. So now we're up here on the upper floor. And we can go ahead and start placing the ceiling pieces for up here. I don't know if we want... <clears throat> Do we want to put a ceiling piece there, or... No, you know what? I don't think so. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put another slope on the side but otherwise leave that open. Will that work okay? Uh, I think so. I think that'll work okay. That's a bit of a nuisance, but what can you do? Uh, let's get some of these pieces again. These. We'll take a couple of those. Let's take the next, well, uh, I, I think we can do the next stairway piece. Let's see. That'll help us make sure we get it placed right. Okay, put that there, that there. Oh, no, it's not where I want you. See, there's a gap there. I don't want that gap. I want it, I want it nice and neat. And I don't think it's going to let me. I think it's going to stick a gap there no matter what I do. 
If I took that wall out, it would probably be okay, but I don't think I'm going to take the wall out just for that. Why do you vex me, game? That's another slip gator reference if I ever heard one. Let's see, can I do it this way? Place that one for... Oh, I can. Maybe. It was in the right spot for just a second and then snaps back there. Much better. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now we'll do this one. We'll do the same thing. You know what we can do? Let's... Let's save ourselves some headache. There we go. Now we put that one. No. Oh man, it's still going to give us grief about it, isn't it? I thought it was clipping to the foundation there. It's not. It's it's clipping to the wall. Let's take out the wall. It's just two pieces after all. We can survive that, right? Oh, we have to take out the piece underneath. We're going to have to take out the piece underneath. Okay. Okay. So now let's try this. Yay! Okay, cool. And then we will come back down here. And we'll take our window wall and our two other walls. Uh, that's okay, I think it let me place it okay. It looks like it's right. Remember, all the thatch stuff's going to go away, so... Yeah, it's even. Oh, good, good, good. I was worried about that. So... We'll see what happens when we go to do the, <laughs> the, the very top roof. Okay, so these guys, I don't know which one we're going to need. I can never remember which is which. The other one, okay, cool. So that, oh, well, you know, that's okay, that's fine. I, I don't mind that, that looks nice. And then here, we are going to put in some ceilings. We can put in our stairs. Put these in. There we go. So that's our next landing. There. We will have railings here too, so don't worry. So yeah, that's nice. Ooh, that's going to create a problem I hadn't considered. Hmm. I may have to rethink a little bit of how I do the top floor. I mean the roof. But that's okay. That's not a big deal. This area here, I'm not sure if this will be our bed or if this will be our desk. I sort of want it to be our desk. This seems like a nice little office -y area. So, okay, let's go ahead. I think I'm going to go... Ugh. I think I'm going to go... Oh, let's take this guy out. And let's put it back where it's supposed to be here. that place at the right... No, it didn't place in the right position or the right height. We need to take this floor out. Uh, so we should have fixed that before putting that floor in. Okay. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're good to go there. So now I think we got that in. We can take these out now. Yeah. So once we get the flooring up above, it should hold our our walls in place. And so we don't need to worry anymore about getting that stuff placed before we go any further. So we'll be able to take these out in a minute, too. Let's get some more of those. Uh, floors, floors, floors. Let's get ten more of them. Actually, ceilings, I should say, is what these are. So I'm thinking that we will... Ah, uh, that's not right.
right? That clipped to the wrong thing. I'm thinking what we'll do... That looks better. Okay. It wasn't a lot big difference, but it looked like it, it had clipped to the wrong... Or lined up with the wrong piece, so... So these we should be able to take out now. Actually, I suppose I could have just demolished them and reclaimed the thatch, which we may end up being short of later on, but... Who knows? We might need them at some point to do this again, so... No harm in keeping them. So, there. Now I'm thinking that we will keep... Or that we will end this right here. Um, I don't think we really need... Once it's this temporary wall is gone, it's going to be a good-sized area. Uh, and this is, I, I, I've changed my mind, like I said, I'm going to make the workshop expansion on this side. This will all be, like, our residence. I mean, so it's really going to be mostly decorative, um, with, um, 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 just a sitting area, and, uh, Maybe we'll have a couple of minor... Like, there's one crafting cable. It looks like a writing desk. It's really uh, cool. I may put that up here. And, of course, we'll have our bed for resing. Um, which... I don't, I don't know. There's so many nice options. I'm not sure which one to use. <laughs> and then we'll just have a railing right here. Um, and then that'll make it a little bit more open right here. Like, for when we bring dinos in, if we hop off them, then, you know, we won't get... We won't be running up against the ceiling of this. And it'll make make the workshop area seem a little bit more open without uh, the ceiling right there. So I, I think we are over time. Um, boy, it's, it's hard to believe, but, you know, we're getting further. I mean, the house is looking a lot, a lot closer to being complete. Uh, so next time we will pick up, we're going to continue with this, we're going to get, now we're ready to put our permanent walls up above here for, uh, oh, I think I know what I was going to do here, oh yes, I remember now, I remember now, uh, our permanent walls up above here for, uh, sort of the, the stairwell sort of stuff and things, um, yeah, it's going to do that different... You know, I may still do it a different way. Sorry, I'm talking to myself as I go. But yeah, that'll be our task next time. We'll fix that, and we'll get the walls for the uh, the penthouse. I remember the word, yay! For the penthouse done. And then we'll start getting the actual roof on. So thank you very much for watching. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. And we will see you next time.